In this video, we're going to do two exam style questions on discrete random variables. In the first one, we're told the discrete random variable x has probability distribution given by, so we got values of x from negative 1 to 3, and the associated probabilities. We're told a is a constant. In part a, we're asked to find the value of a. We can say that the sum of the probability of x being equal to x will be 1. This is simply saying now all of these added together will be equal to 1. Sometimes it's easier to work with decimals. You don't have to, but you might want to convert these. So 0 0.2, 0 0.1 and 0 0.2. So if we add all of these up, we've got now 0 0.2 plus 0 0.1 plus 0 0.2 plus 2a must be equal to 1. So subtracting now 0 0.5 on both sides, 2a must be equal to 0 0.5. And we can see that a is 0 0.25 or 1 quarter. So I'm just going to write these in now. So we've got 0 0.25, a is 0 0.25, and then we've got another 0 0.25. Do check now that all of these equal up to 1. In part b, we're asked to write down e of x. This is the expected value or mean. So we should spot it by looking at the table. If we look at the table, it's symmetric. Therefore, I can simply now draw a line down the middle and say now that the expected value or mean is going to be 1. So expected value of x is 1. And that will give us now 1 mark in an exam. We now need to find var x. Var x is given to be now the expected value of x squared minus the expected value of x squared. So we already know the expected value of x, which we need to square. So we can write var x will be equal to the expected value of x squared minus 1 squared. 1 squared is just 1. So let's go ahead and find now the expected value of x squared. So if I now write up x squared and we square negative 1, we get 1. Square and 0 gives me 1. Square and 1 gives me 1. Square and 2 gives me 4. And then square and 3 gives me 9. So if we're looking at the expected value of x squared, we can say now that this is the sum of x squared multiplied by the probability that x is equal to x. Again, all we're doing is taking the value here, multiplying it by its probability, the value here, multiplying it by, by its probability, and so on and so forth, and just adding these up. So let's go ahead and do that. We've got one lot of 0 0.2 plus 0 lots of 0 0.25. Then we've got plus 1 lot of 0 0.1, plus now 4 lots of 0 0.25, and then finally plus 9 lots of 0 0.2. So this is going to give me now 0 0.2, that will give me 0, plus 0 0.1, plus now 1, plus 1 1.8. So in total that's going to give me now, that will give me 2, 2.1, so we got to now 3.1. So let's just check that. That looks to add to give 3.1. So that now is the expected value of x squared. So let's go ahead and write this out. So we can write down var x is going to be 3.1 minus 1 squared, which is 1, which we can say is 2.1. So that's now the average squared distance of each of these observed values from the mean. OK, we're now told the random variable y is equal to 6 minus 2x. We need to find var y and then calculate the probability that x is at least the same size as y. So let's look at this right here. What we could do is write now var y will be equal to var of, and I'm just going to write this the other way around. We're going to have minus 2x plus 6. We know that if we have var of ax plus b, we get a squared var x. So we can say that var y will be equal to minus 2, which we need to square var, and then we'll have x. Remember, adding a value doesn't change now the spread of data. So we can say from this, var y will be equal to 4 var x. Now we already know var x, var x is 2.1, so we can say that var y will be 4 lots now of 2.1, which is going to give me now 8.4.
So that's a value right there. So that's all we've done. OK, we now need to calculate the probability that x is at least the size of y. So let's take our values of x and sub them in just here. And I'm going to write a column for the values of y. So let's write y, and I'll write y just here. So if we take x to be minus 1, that's going to give me 6 minus minus 2, which is going to give me 8. Then we're going to have 6. Then if I sub in 1, that's going to give me now 4. Then if I sub in 4, we're going to end up now, uh, sorry, sub in 2 here, we're going to end up now with uh, 2. And then we're going to end up on the next one now with 6 minus 2 lots of this. That's going to end up giving me naught. So if we just go along and consider the x and y's, x and y, we've got x and y. This is x, this is y. I've just now applied this linear relationship to these. So we want to know now where x is at least the size of y. So it's not here, it's not here, it's not here. It's just these two at the end. So all we have to do is say that this is going to be now, in terms of x, we can say this is p of 2 plus now p of 3. And we just add these two together, which is going to be 0 0.45. So all we've done is looked at that probability that x is greater or equal to y, taken these two values and found the answer. So that's the first question done. Let's look at another one. So in this one, we're told the discrete random variable x has the probability function. The probability of x is equal to x is a lots of 3 minus x, where x is between 0 and 2 inclusive, and then b now, where x is equal to 3. In part A, we need to find the probability that x is equal to 2 and complete the table below. So all we need to do is jump to 2 just here. So this is one of the particular values of x. So I can say that A, then we're going to have 3 minus 2. So that's simply going to give me A lots of 1, which is going to be A. So we can go ahead and sub that in. So let's put that in. That's A. That's just plugging it into here. We've got 2. We put 2 in there. 3 minus 2 is 1. That gives me A. It says, given that the expected value of x is 1.6, find the values of a and b. So what we need here is two equations. We've got two unknowns, therefore we need two equations. The first one I'm going to write now is the sum of the probability that x is equal to x will be 1. So let's look at this. This is going to be 3a plus 2a plus a plus b is equal to 1. So that gives me 6a plus b. So 6a plus b is equal to 1. And I'm going to call this equation 1. I want an, a second equation. So I'm now going to look at expected value, or e of x. We can say that the expected value of x is simply now the sum of x multiplied by the probability that x is equal to x. Or if you like, we're going to multiply these, multiply these, multiply these, multiply these, and add them together. So let's look now at the expected value of x. This is going to give me 0 multiplied by 3a plus 1 multiplied by 2a plus 2 multiplied by a plus 3 multiplied by b. And that's going to be equal to 1.6. So let's go ahead and write this. So we've got now, that's going to give me 0. I've got 2a plus 2a plus 3b is equal to 1.6. So equation 2 is going to give me 4a plus 3b is equal now to 1.6. So if I just multiply equation 1, and if I multiply this up, let's multiply this by 3, I've got 18a plus 3b will be equal now to 3. So if I subtract equation 2 from 1, so 1 minus 2, we're going to have now 14a will be equal now to 3 minus 1.6, which is going to give me 1.4. So from here, dividing both sides by the 14, a is going to be 0 0.1. So if we consider a is going to be 0 0.1, this is going to be fairly straightforward to get b, which is going to give me now 6 lots of 0 0.1 plus 0 0.4 is 1. So we can write now that b is going to be equal now to 0 0.4. So let's just check all of those work. So we can now put those probabilities in. So I'm just going to put them above here. This is going to give me 0 0.3. This is going to give me 0 0.2. This is going to give me 0 0.1. And this is going to give me 0 0.4. So all I've done is solved a simultaneous equation from there. 
Okay, we now need to find the probability that x is between 0 0.5 and 3, and these are strict inequalities. We can say, therefore, we are looking now for the probability that x is going to be 1 and 2. So this is just p of 1 plus p of 2. So what are we going to have? We're going to have now 0 point, and let's just write this out here, we're going to have 0 0.2 plus 0 0.1, which is going to give me 0 0.3. So, just taking these values, we know that this is a discrete scale, therefore we're going to say that this is going to be 1 or 2. Okay, we now need to find the expected value of 3x. So, using our rules, we've got the rule that the expected value of ax plus b is equal to a and then the expected value of x and then plus b. So what we're looking at here now is three lots of the expected value of x minus 2. So if we look at the expected value of x, that's 1.6. So we've got three lots of 1.6 minus 2. Three lots of 1.6 is 4.8 minus 2. That's going to give me 2.8. So that's the expected value of 3x minus 2. We need to show that var x is 1.64. So let's go back to our definition. Var x is given to be now the expected value of x squared minus the expected value of x squared. Now we've already got the expected value of x, so we can write that the expected value of x squared minus now 1.6 squared will give us the variance of var x. So let's go ahead and deal with this. So what we want then is x squared. So let's put on x squared and I'll put them just here. So we're going to have x squared that's going to be 0, that's going to be 1, that's going to be 4, and that's going to be 9. So what we've got then is the expected value of x squared is going to be the sum of x squared multiplied by the probability that x is equal to x. So let's go ahead and do that. We've got now our value of x squared. So this is going to give me 0, and I'll just go through this fairly quickly. Then we've got one lot of 2a, so that's going to be now uh, our 0 0.2, which we've got here. So let's put 0 0.2. Then we've got four lots now of the 0 0.1. So let's do that. So that's going to be plus 0 0.4. And then we've got nine lots of the 0 0.4, which is going to be uh, 3.6. Okay, what's that give us? 4.2. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. So we've got now the uh, 4.2 here. That's the expected value. I'm just summing that up of x squared. So we've got 4.2, and then we've got now the 1.6 squared. So what's that going to be? Minus uh, 16 squared is 256. So that's going to be now 2.56. Okay, so what's that going to give us? 4.2, let's just put that for a calculator. I'm probably being a little lazy. 4.2 minus 2.56, and that's going to give us now 1.64. So we can say now that that's going to be 1.64. So we've worked out the variance to be 1.64. We now need to calculate var of 3x minus 2. So if we consider now var of 3x minus 2, taking var of ax plus b to be equal to a squared var x, all we need to do now is simply take the value of 3 and square it, and multiply it now by var x. So we're going to have 9 lots of 1.64. So in the calculator or in your brain, multiply your answer by 9, and we're going to end up with 14.76. So 14.76, and that's now the question done. So there we go, two fairly standard exam-style questions looking at discrete random variables.